practical blade. It's not dull or in the sink. I'm going to check closer view. It's triangular. You can see that it's has the tip has been tapered, so it doesn't have a tip, so it's safe. Um, these are kind of fencing swords. I got them on American Fencer Supply. Um, so there goes a the promo. Boy swords at American Fencer Supply. They have amazing swords like this one. Um, um, now the company is very good, and the price for this is this one is quite cheap. It's only sixty-five dollars. Um, I have a Spanish cup hilt and a musketeer rapier, and those ones are a little bit more expensive. Um, but this has been useful. This has been this one I have used them in a couple of my productions. I have worked as a fight choreographer. Um, I got two Vulcans, um, and basically I got the Vulcans because um, I used to take um, Kindle sword class. The Vulcans I use them to practice. It's like it's like a broadsword, and if you learn how to pra use the practice the movement with the Vulcan, you also know how to use a broadsword. I have two broadswords, but I don't have them here. They're in storage. And I may probably have to go and get them because they're getting a little bit frosty and they and I will need to clean them. Um so yes, this is my Vulcan. You know, I practice daily with it so I get I get my skills. Um I keep my skills all the time, you know. So um this one my Vulcan. I also have two cutlass swords. Um this one. I got two cutlass swords in this to practice a little bit, um, hit the door over there. Um, this just practice a little bit was said, um, pair weapons, you know. Sometimes for the SAB, you take rapier daggers, so you should be familiar when you're taking rapier and dagger. You should be used to using both hands at the same time. Each hand will move independent of the other one. Sometimes they will work together to do a couple of parries. Um, what they call reinforced parries. Um, and these are perfect for that, so I can have two weapons in the hand and practice. Because they look pretty cool. Um, they are made out of wood. Um, they are not real, they don't have a real blade. Um, here I have a display sword, which I got quite recently. It was cheap. Um, it's kind of look like a, like a rapier. The blade is quite, kind of big and makes it a little bit heavier. Um, it's a display sword because the blade is made of stainless steel. I'm going to give a closer look. Stainless steel. Um, don't know if you can see. It says here it's stainless steel. Stainless steel is not a good thing for um, theatrical sword fighting because it can break. So this is just a nice display sword. I'm going to show again a little bit closer so you can see a little bit of the design of it. Um, if it shows over there. I do like the design of the sword. It's very impressive. It's what they would call a sweep hilt. And there are um, the design in the handle of the blade is kind of nice too. I like it. Um, so this is just a display sword. Um, I may probably hang it in one of the, my walls but I haven't done that yet. So I just keep it in the closet. Finally I want to show um, the latest. And the latest um, this is not for BDSM or anything like that. These are my whips, which I got on Western Stage Prop. Once again, here goes a free advertisement. Western St Stage Prop for all your Western props that you need. Uh, these are whips, guns, um, and a bunch of stuff that it's cool. And I got these two whips. This one I got it on a package, and it had goggles and an instructional video. And this one I got it just recently. Um, I've been teaching myself and I got the whip because I was doing um, choreography for a production of um, Man of La Mancha and in that show one of the characters um, he has a whip and I didn't want to use a whip that will um, that will not work I mean the whips that you get in the in custom shops they are they're not quite good you know they, they break easily they're not very well made, so I didn't want to hunt that risk. So I went to Western Stage Prop and ordered order the whip. And the instruction video helped me because then now I've been practicing myself, um, teaching myself how to crack a whip. And I'm not going to do the tape because I don't have the space. Um, but I hopefully, when I get my a video camera, 
I'm gonna be able to do a video of me cracking the whip outside. Um, um, but yeah, so I've been practicing um, with one whip, practicing with both hands, and now I'm getting to two whips in in each hand, and that's the hardest one. But I've been able to 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 crack it on a basic level um, at the same time. So, and the internet, YouTube. Um, once again, here goes the free advertisement. YouTube, if you want to watch free videos, they have a lot of bunch of collection. There's people that have a few good instruction videos on whip cracking that have helped me to improve my skills. Um, so, I also have uh, both tabs, which they are right now in, in school because I will be using them in the production of Henry V, which I'm working right now. And I have a bunch of other swords that I don't have here because I don't have the space to, to keep them. Um, so yeah, this set and I guess I'll see you next time.